Hey, 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 my name is Chimway and welcome to season two of the Rich Witch Show. Yes, today is Monday, October the 4th, 2021. And I'm super geeked to be here with you all. We were having some technical difficulties. I had planned, the plan was to go live on IG. However, Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook is not cooperating with us today. So I think this was because I was supposed to go live directly from my own website and garner followers here. And I'm honestly really grateful. Uh, followers and subscribers, that's coming through heavy. But I'm really grateful to have my own platform um, already set up and prepared. So that way, the show could go on, okay? Because the show must go on. Okay, so I'm like super duper excited. What is season two of The Rich Witch Show all about? Well, you know, we're still making the magical practical. I'm still Chen Wei. I'm still Chen Weezy. I'm still your magnificent, awesome, rich witch host. Okay, but season two is all about astrology. So what we're going to be doing is we're going live every single weekday, Monday through Friday at 222 Eastern Standard Time. 222 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Why 222? It's just a good number. I like that time of the day. I like that type of routine. And we're going to talk more about that routine. But basically, this is a 12 week run, five days a week for 12 weeks. And each week, we're going to be discussing the different zodiac signs. So for this week, we're going to start with Capricorn. We're going to start with Capricorn, then we'll go to Aquarius, Pisces, and we're going to go that way. Why are we starting with Capricorn? Um, because, I don't know. That's just what I was called to do. But also, personally, Capricorn is my first house. That's my rising sign. And that was one of the reasons I wanted to start there. But also, I just really felt compelled to talk about this because um, it's important that we talk about finances and businesses and, and our life purpose moving forward. And that's what Capricorn is. Capricorn in our birth charts is all about that. 10th house energy okay and i'm gonna do my best to pull up some visuals um like i said we are doing things differently i had planned on having all this stuff pulled up on my phone using ig live um because you can use uh you can use what am i trying to say you can like upload pictures and stuff i want to get a birth chart um I'll just pull up what's going on today because I don't want to show y'all my birth chart. You're not supposed to do that, by the way. So also what we're talking about here with astrology, the reason why I'm being called to teach and expound upon astrology is because astrology really gets you in tune. Um, if you are in alignment with the planets and the seasons, Libra season like we're in right now, which we will talk about more um, as we're talking about these different other zodiacs and energies and stuff but if the more aligned you are with the seasons and the stars and the planets because we are comprised of the stardust we talk about this in planet power and in and, and season one um the more you i don't know what's going on with the internet today this ain't nothing but the devil and we're gonna keep pushing through <sighs> trying not to get frustrated y'all um, if I break down and cry, don't pay me no mind. I am on my cycle and there's a lot of big transitionary changes that have been going on in my life. Speaking of Capricorn, speaking of structures. Um, so anyway, this is what a birth chart looks like, right? And you have these 12 houses, each little block here. Bow, 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 bow is a house, okay? And so like I was saying, Capricorn, you see little Capricorn right there? That's our 10th house energy. And what is that planet? That's Pluto sitting retrograde in Capricorn. And we're going to talk more about that. I've been talking about this Pluto retrograde and Capricorn energy for months now on TikTok. Um, and I'm really excited to talk about all the structures that are being torn down with that. Okay, this is why we see people not going back to work because we are coming into our worth. That's what that 10th house is all about. Your public persona, um, how you view yourself, how others view you. Um, but that is how others view you is a direct reflection on how you view yourself your worth what others are willing to pay you is a direct reflection of what you feel you deserve so that's what capricorn energy is all about that's what we're doing um and so let's let's get into it let's talk about capricorn energy so the general structure 
of Capricorn. Um, and today, by the way, is Mantra Mondays, it's Message Mondays, it's Music Mondays. So we're going to get into all that. But first, I want to talk about Capricornian energy because it's important that we get the meat and potatoes out the way, right? Okay, so Capricorn. My interpretation of Capricorn is all about tearing down structures or not tearing down structures. It's about structures. It's about systems. And like I said, with Pluto being in Capricorn, okay, this is about the tearing down of those structures. Why? Because Pluto is all about change. Okay. Remember they tried to demote Pluto? Um, and that should tell you about this energy. So you may have felt demoted interesting okay we got an impromptu message coming through with this capricorn energy you may have got felt demoted by the universe or demoted in a job or demoted in some sort of position in your life where you're not feeling important anymore come on cheek um however that pluto and scorpio energy is saying i'm a force to be reckoned with pluto is the smallest planet and it's way out there the furthest away and it doesn't get the credit it deserves but let me tell you something it's silent but deadly Pluto takes a long time to come around because it's the furthest away and it's the smallest. But when it does, it fucks shit up. And that's what we're seeing now with this tearing down of power structures. It's not that people don't want to work. It's that these corporations don't want to pay. And people sat at home last year during 2020, that number four year, 2020 equaling four. They sat at home during that four year. And whether you were going through this really intense spiritual shadow work or not, there was still an energy of... I deserve more mm, I don't think I should be working all these hours I kind of like it at home I kind of like myself or I don't like myself I don't like my home Pluto and Scorpio I mean uh Pluto and Scorpio Pluto and Capricorn so how can I change my structures to make them work for me all right so Capricorn is cardinal energy cardinal energy starts something new all of the zodiacs are divided into cardinal mutable or fixed energy okay so with capricorn we're talking about cardinal energy fresh off the gate remember during um the rich with show season one we were talking about that aries energy that's capricorn cardinal boom 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 interestingly enough we end and begin the year with this cardinal energy of building a structure building a foundation how do you want your year to go reflecting on the systems as it ends in december as capricorn energy is from the end of december through the first half of january right so reflecting on the past year on how have the systems that i've implemented worked for me have they been working for me and how can i redesign those structures how can i redesign those systems get a bird's eye view to redesign those systems um uh da -da 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 -da. capricorn is also an earth sign we have what earth water fire and air signs okay so capricorn virgo and uh taurus are our three earth signs okay so you might be able to also pull on virgo energy or pull on taurus energy during uh capricorn season or during capricorn energy or when you're working on your business pull on those other virgo or taurus energies or get around some virgo or taurus or capricorn people to help boost your business um things of that nature because um uh, it's going to help keep you grounded. All that grounded energy, all that earth grounded, tangible energy. It's just good to be around when manifesting a uh, business endeavors, which is really what I look at with Capricorn because it rules that 10th house. Okay. Now, what is the um, uh, 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 mascot? It's a seahorse or a billy goat or a mountain goat. Um, you can use any of those. I personally like the mountain goat okay so also you learn that astrology spirituality we talk about this all the time is really about your interpretation what makes sense to you what makes you most comfortable and i have to tell y'all i am hella comfortable right now and really happy talking about this stuff that's awesome um but spirituality astrology is about making these energies work for you getting in tune with these energies so that they can work for you right so the energy that works for me like i said the capricorn mascot could be a seahorse could be a billy goat or a mountain goat i like the mountain goat i like the idea of that goat is climbing that mountain and he's not gonna stop until he gets to the peak and then he's gonna come back down and then he's gonna go back up and he's gonna come back down capricorns have a natural um way of conquering 
it's just what they do they put their head down it's like they kind of burrow right with that earth energy they burrow they put their head down and they go for it okay but first and it's almost like they build the structure as they go capricorn i'm getting a very trial and error type of energy and that's why with businesses um it's very trial and error energy that because it's that capricorn 10th house energy with your reputation is very trial and error either people are going to like you or they're not going to like you i'm um, with business making signing contracts working things out my show trial and error capricorn is trial and error but the most important thing is to keep going i've been seeing angel numbers one two three four a lot oh my god remember in the first episode of season one when I mentioned one, two, three, four were the angel numbers that I was seeing, and I think I said uh, one, two, four, six as well. But one, two, three, four, those are Capricorn's number seven, eight, nine, ten. That progression, just keep moving forward, little by little, brick by brick. In one of the last episodes, um, I talked about brick by brick, laying that foundation, the number four for Capricorn. Okay, heavy on the laying the foundation, heavy on the brick by brick. Oh my God, y'all, it's literally 2.34 right now. That's what I'm talking about. Two, three, four, progression. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. And these are solid, tangible steps with this Capricorn energy, okay? Not just thinking about it, not just planning it out, but actually every day doing something to get you up that motherfucking mountain. You feel me? Cool. Um, So... Capricorn gives us winter energy, um, hibernation energy, a lot of hard work. Think about the Capricorns that you know. Very hardworking people. Um, uh, like I said, they put their head down, they burrow, and they climb that mountain. Um, this is also Capricorn to me. It's very masculine energy, very doing energy, right? Putting your head down. All cardinal energy is pretty masculine. Let me see. Aries, definitely masculine, right? It's ruled by Mars, and Mars is literally our um, symbol of masculinity. Um, Aries, what's the other cardinal energy? Leo. No, no, no. Leo is fixed. I'm not a thousand percent sure, y'all. I will get back to you on that. Um, hold on one second. This is important. See, we're learning and growing together. <clears throat> I'm going to serenade you while I look up this information. Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. Ooh, Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn are our cardinal signs, okay? So we're literally in Libra season right now. So it's even more awesomer to channel this Capricorn energy, to channel Aries energy, to channel Cancer energy, um, however that works for you in order to make your relationships better. Since we are in Libra season, use that Capricorn energy of putting your head down. Let's come through message. Use the Capricorn energy of putting your head down and burrowing and taking one step at a time, tangible steps every day to develop your relationships. That's how you can make the magical practical, okay? Look at what it is that you want out of your relationships. And it doesn't just have to be with people, even though I do think that should kind of be your focus right now. Um... Because if you're able to practice relationships with people, then you're able to have a good relationship with business, with money, with food, with everything. All of those things coincide. So use this Capricorn energy to develop a way to keep moving forward positively and optimistically in your relationships. Because Capricorn, Capricorn energy does tend to lean towards pessimism. I do want to say that, okay? We do have balanced and unbalanced energies in each sign. And when Capricorn energy is unbalanced, it can be pessimistic. It can be a Debbie Downer. It can be depressed. And so that's why you want to speak life over yourself, especially during this season of relationships, because you're harvesting and it's very easy to manifest during Libra season because the scales are balanced. And we talked about this last week, okay? So masculine energy, um, ruled by Saturn, ruled by Saturn, ruled by Saturn. That's what we were talking about with that masculine energy and the carnal energy. So I'm like, how do we, but anyway, that's what happened. Okay. Thank you. Ruled by Saturn. Okay. 
I'm going to put the, the iPad down. Let's talk about Saturn. Who is Saturn? Big Zaddy Saturn. Y'all know I be talking about Big Zaddy Saturn. Saturn comes through. What is he? The God of Karma. Wasn't I just talking about Libra and the scales? Come on, somebody. God of Karma. God of Discipline. Did you learn your lesson? We always hear about our Saturn return. Things, lessons coming back up around every 27 and a half to 30 years to see if we're ready for the next level. Also to force us to evaluate... Um, what we like and what we don't like, what we want to change, what we don't want to change, okay? And that's something also that we're going to talk about with Monday. So keep hold all that information in mind as we talk about what's going on for today. So Monday, lunes in Spanish, right? We talked about this on the Ritual Show. Lunes, lunar, moon. This is moon day, not Monday, but moon day. And on moon day, we want to sink in with the moon. Now, everybody's going to have a personal planet that works best for them. You've got to figure that out. I know personally for me, it's the moon. I don't remember how I discovered this. I think God told me. I think the ancestors told me, the angels, my higher self. But everybody has a planet. It could be Mars. It could be Venus. It could be Pluto. Um that works for them and those energies you tapped into i told you for me it's the moon so i look at what the moon is doing every day but until you know or don't know i mean blah, until you know exactly what planets work for you we're still gonna go through each day and acknowledge the planets that coincide with that day because nothing is coincidental so moon day lunes lunar today the moon is in virgo Speaking of Earth energy on the Capricorn tip, okay, and how do we know this? I am going to show you the moon calendar. I love AstroSeek, okay? Love for y'all to sponsor. Oh, I want to give a shout out to my sponsor. I had a video that I was going to play and everything. Shout out to PlayhouseWorldVisions.com. Um, Go and check them out. Cop you some gear, okay? And this episode, the season two, is being brought to you by Playhouse World Vision. Shout out to Jalil and Jacob. All right. So currently the moon is in Virgo. So I just pull up this little chart and it tells me every single day where the moon is and what phase the moon is in. I hope that this is not backwards. It probably is. So anyway, just so you guys know that I'm not just making stuff up. Okay, so today is October 4th. We have the waning crescent in Virgo. So what is a waning crescent moon? The waning crescent tells us to reflect, to look back, and to be grateful. And what does Virgo energy tell us? Well, if we go back to our chart here, our um, planetary chart, Virgo is the sixth house right here okay how do we know it's the sixth house because we start with aries first out the gate remember aries is the first zodiac sign first out the gate right so aries would be our first house taurus would be our second gemini is our third uh cancer is our fourth house right makes sense with the home okay fifth house would be leo makes sense play fun uh loudness you know what i mean oh excuse me what is this I clicked on an ad by accident. And then our sixth house over here. Come on. Our sixth house would be Virgo. And you see that little moon symbol sitting right there in Virgo on the 19th degree. Now, Virgo energy. The sixth house is all about uh, discipline. That's coming through strong. Discipline, our work ethic, our routine. Um the way we do things our health as well so you may be feeling compelled with the moon in virgo and the moon is about our emotions right what we feel like doing you might be doing a lot of crying today you might be trying to feel your way through a new routine i know i am and you could also with that waning crescent being about reflecting you could be looking back on the routines that you have done over the past year two years month two months that has worked for you Go back in your life when we're creating our dream life, when we're creating our dream career, because that is what this is all about. Season two is about me 
diving into astrology, diving into how to read these birth charts, learning how to read these energies so that you can be in tune so that your life is easy. And the best way is when you know your purpose. And what is your purpose? Your career. What are you supposed to give back to the world? What is fulfilling to you and what is helpful for others, right? So look back throughout your life. Or recently, honestly, I say six months, six years, six months, the past six months, heavily. Look back over the last six months at what routine, look how the sun's coming out. What routine worked for you? What did you like about your routine? What did you like about your health? What do you like about your body? What did you do for your body? What habits 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 because routine is about habits so you might be feeling your way through some habits or breaking through some habits right now maybe there are parts of your routine that necessarily weren't the best for you even though it did feel good and so you're having to break up those habits and develop some new habits just to get you to a new level okay things are falling apart just to fall back together exponentially expeditiously at rapid speed okay so that's what the moon in virgo is talking to us about now mantra of the week um <laughs> look how that all worked out that's coming from covey hugo um the way you're in tune i did not expect to be surrounded by capricorns the week that I am discussing Capricorn energy. But look how that all worked out as I am embarking upon my career, my field that I'm supposed to be in, I'm supposed to be discussing astrology, supposed to be going live every single day because the talk show is my calling. The talk show is what I, what I, what I always wanted to do. So lucky me that I get to be around Capricorns and be around this 10th house energy of being um, out there, noticeable and visible and I get to absorb that energy and multiply it. Love that. Um, some angel numbers that you could be seeing this week. Number one, number 11, number 10, which are all pretty much variations of the same thing. But particularly number three. Number three. Also, with that number three, number three is our visionary. Number 12, too, because one and two equal three. So with number three being our number of vision and ascended mastery, basically what you want to do is um, break down, stop looking at the details. That was the message that came to me earlier. Stop looking at the details. This is how we surrender because Capricorn is all about the big structure, the big system, okay? And so with the moon sitting at the... 19th degree and i think i looked this up y'all hold on if i'm not mistaken if i'm not mistaken give me one second it's sitting the moon is sitting at the 19th degree okay so also each degree within those houses represent a different sign as well so the more you look the further you go down the rabbit hole, the more in tune you get. So we've got the moon sitting, even though it's sitting in Virgo, it's sitting, what did we say? On the 19th degree, which is Libra relationships. So you could be specifically, look at that butterfly, specifically waning crescent, reflect, be grateful, look back. Virgo, your routine, Libra, the 19th degree your relationships specifically looking at what routine worked in your relationships looking at the healthy aspects of your relationship with that sixth house talking about health right looking at the healthy aspects of your relationships and being grateful for the beauty the beauty i know that i'm super grateful for the time that i spent with jacob and it hurts so much because it was so awesome and I was so happy. But what can I take from that experience? What can I take from that experience and apply it to my new routine now to make my life even better? Or at least comparable. At least comparable. It feels impossible at the moment. I'm not going to hold y'all. It feels impossible. When you really feel you're in alignment with your soulmate, with your other half, with your twin flame, whatever you want to call it, it's really difficult to separate and then try and do life by yourself because it just seems unnecessary. It seems like the headache or it's not worth it. But 333, 
there's got to be a bigger picture. Capricorn. Capricorn says, look at the system. Look at what you created and knowing that it's possible, that your dreams are possible and that right now you kind of got to just walk on faith. The system of faith. What are your systems? What is holding up your structure? What is your foundation? Okay, what do you use to get through your day, to get through your hard times? How are you going to avoid looking at those details? How are you going to look at that big picture? Using gratitude, having faith that what I see down the road, having faith that what's at the top of that mountain that I'm climbing with this Capricorn energy is exactly what's for me. And that's what I had to sit down and tell God, thank you for today. I'm grateful that marriage and love and uh, commitment was everything that I dreamt it would ever be since I was a little girl. It really, really, really was. And I'm reflecting on the time that we had together because it was really perfect. Thank you. And the sun is coming out and I'm grateful for it. And we're going to... Um, we're going to leave it on that note. Now, manana, you also may be seeing butterflies. Um, a lot of butterflies, um, uh, maybe owls, crows. I'm getting birds, things that fly. A lot of winged, a lot of winged things. Okay. Number three, number five, maybe. Ooh, this is my rich witch symbol. Also, this is the symbol of alignment. This is a symbol of alignment, y'all. Oh my God, wings. This is the symbol of alignment. You are in alignment. Two, two, two. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. Definitely working with the root chakra this week, the color red. Um, we talked about our animal spirit guys. Da, 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 da. We got everything. We got everything we were supposed to talk about. All right, so next, what we're gonna do is. We're going to meditate because it's also meditation Mondays. You feel me? We're going to meditate a little bit and we're going to power right. And then, um, yeah. So, you know, we got to magnify that magic. Um, and this show is just so informal. I love it that we're just going with the flow and talking. Um, and we're going to spend the rest of the week talking about these energies. We're going to talk. We're going to do Tarot Tuesday and pull some cards tomorrow and talk about business and talk about our personas and any shadow work that we need to work on as far as um really being comfortable in our own skin as far as business women and business men and business people and um Wednesday we're gonna do some uh wheezy wisdom uh da -da 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 -da. tell y'all my stories life advice we're just gonna talk about some things um Thursday we're gonna talk about how Capricorn applies to the structure we're gonna talk about racism we're gonna talk about um these capitalism we're gonna talk about all that because it's town hall thursday throwback thursday we're gonna talk about the foundations that we are built on our ancestors acknowledge our ancestors and all that good stuff um and then friday we are going to um we're gonna just have some fun we're gonna play some games we're gonna talk about all the stuff that we learn we're gonna play some music and just have a really 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 funky good time okay so i don't I mean, I have all this stuff written down, but we're really just going to go with the flow each day and let Capricorn tell us what it wants to know. Let the universe, let God speak through me. That's all that we can really, really, really do. And um, we were going to meditate and write, but I'm honestly feeling called to just let it go right now, um, to do things differently. I think 30 minutes is great. Um, and I appreciate y'all so much for showing up. This is day one of my new life. This is day one of your new life. And we've got so much to talk about, so much to discuss, and we're getting the fuck in tune together, okay? So I appreciate you so much for joining me. I'm sending you lots of love and luck. I will see you on the other side. Mwah! We see out.